Hello everyone, this is Ahit from Inspiring Net and I wish you a very good Sunday morning. <clears throat> you know, I have been receiving a lot of emails asking about like people are, people are not able to concentrate, they don't know what's going on and the gate exam is just on their heads and all those things are like going on. So they are always seeking and trying to seek an advice from me. And fortunately I was reading a book last night. His name is Ma'alim Fit Tariq. It's like milestones of a journey. So in that I read one story and a beautiful story. I really liked it. And it has been a point of focus for me and it has been a point of inspiration for me in most of the time when I was when I felt like I'm out of focus or something. As a quick note, I'd like to share this story with you. And probably you might find it useful and motivating for you yourself. It is about Imam Yahya Rahimahullah. He was, he was from Spain and he traveled all across to Medina in, in Saudi Arabia and uh, to join a scholar. His name was Imam Malik Rahimahullah. What happened is like he traveled so long distance and the distance is, is, is too high. It's like thousands of miles from, from Spain to here. And you will have to cross a sea too in between and have to cross all Mediterranean region and then go there. And during the time he was traveling there, there were no flights like you take a flight and just jump into like Jidda and take a taxi and go to Medina. No, it was not, a, it was not that easy that, that those days. It was like you'll have to take a boat and you'll have to take a, take a camel and you'll have to take some few rides and you have to walk few few Saharas to reach out there. And he reached there and he was a student and he was in class and the classes were going on. During one session what happened is like he saw, I mean in the class there are a lot of students and every student have a different motive. Few people like join some course for some, some money and few people join for some whatever desire it is. So the stronger is your desire, the stronger is your focus is. That's what I wanted to say. So one day what happened is he was sitting in the class and Imam Malik was delivering his beautiful lecture. He was a very prominent scholar. And all of a sudden what happened, someone shout outside saying that there are elephants in Medina. Elephants in Medina are like the rarest, rarest thing that could happen to you. So when he looked back, all of, his, all of a sudden like rare means like it is as good as like Shah Rukh Khan visiting your college. Shah Rukh Khan or some beautiful actress like Katrina Kaif is visiting your not Katrina Kaif, I would say like Nergis Fakri. Nergis Fakri is visiting your uh, your college and you got to see her. And you got a chance to like see her from very, very close. <laughs> so, I mean, this is for guys and girls might like think about like Ranbir Kapoor is visiting or, or someone visiting like that. So how, how, how exciting it is, people will go up. So similarly, when elephants came to Medina, all of a sudden all the students went out of the class and they went to see the elephants. Imam Malik saw a, a small, a very beautiful kid is sitting there in the class. He didn't go. Very young kid sitting there. He asked my son, why didn't you go? All, all, all kids went out to see the elephant. You would have gone with them. It's just a 10 to 20 minutes task. You can just go there, enjoy and come back. See the level of focus. See the level of, I mean, the concentration and see the level of our desire of achieving their goal. He said to him at that time, he was a very young guy, very young kid, beautiful. And he, he told him that, uh, Sir, I didn't come here to see the elephant. My main motivation to travel so long distance, my main motivation to see the hardship of the traveling is to see you, is to seek knowledge from you. That is my major motive. Elephant is no important to me. So when he said that, Imam Malik hugged him and blessed him and, and prayed for him. And later on, Imam Yahya became one of the prominent scholars of the religion. So the, what I want to share with this story is the stronger is your desire, everything will rotate around it. You will, I mean, few things which are very important for ordinary people will lose value in, in your eyes. You will, you will treat them as, treat those activities as nothing. A beautiful cricket match is going on between India and Pakistan or 
IPL match is going on or something is going on, you won't care. I see you say, eh, I don't care about it. That's not my focus. My focus is something else. A beautiful girl in your class give you a text message saying that, Hi, how are you? I need your notes. You would say like, I would send you my notes, but I have a class now. I'll meet you after the class or whatever it is. You will give importance to the important things and you will not wait for her next message. Why didn't she send me a thank you message? No. You are focused. So that's what I wanted to ask you. Keep your aims high enough to make you motivated towards them. If your aim is to go into IIT, just remember 1.3 million people right get exam every year and only 5,000 5, or 6,000 go into IITs. What kind of effort do you need for it? If your dream is to go into IITs, if, you, if your dream is to go to IIS, if your dream is to reach out to the best schools in India, you've got to work very, very hard. And you've got to focus. You don't have time and you don't have a chance to lose your focus anymore now. This is Sunday morning. And with the message of staying focused rest of the day and the rest of the week, I would leave you and ask you to go and see my videos for which I have written like how to prepare for a gate for three months or four months because I have given a few tips how certain things should rotate around your main ambition and goal. And you will be successful. One example, girls will leave you, guys will leave you, many people will come in your life. And if you're focused, things will be all right for you. For example, just a simple example I give and then I'll finish my talk. Remember Paul Walker, the guy from Fast and Furious? I was reading his, his history yesterday, I mean, uh, Saturday or Sunday, Saturday morning or some things or something, sometimes on Friday. The most surprising thing, thing for me was like he had, he had a girlfriend who is just 24 years old. And he is dating her like since she is 16 years old. So the point here is, is like you got to focus on what is more important to you. If you lose something, something will come up in life. But if you think something is important, try to catch it. If you don't give importance to important thing, then it will never come to you. Like for example, if your studies are not important to you, you will have to focus on it. If IIT is important for you, you have to focus on 1.2 million people, 1.2 million students who are writing your exam. And how many of them are spending all night long sitting in front of the books? How many of them sitting in front of the books day long, practicing, competing, practicing, competing with you? And if you don't get into that, that force, you cannot get into IITs. If your aim is high, your focus must be super, super high. Just try to focus on it with this I would like to call you very, uh, have a very nice Sunday and have a very focused time from here on. Thank you so much for watching the video. And at the end, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and follow us on Google Plus and all that. Don't get annoyed with this because this, I have to say it for the new newcomers because many people who are like looking for Gate 2015 are visiting here. They don't know what is inspiring that is. But once they come here, they'll get to know and this message is for them. Thank you so much for watching the video and have a nice time. Bye-bye. Yes, I like this Citron tea.